I got mail. I already recorded opening it, so we're gonna pretend like we're opening it. My address was showing, and y'all don't need to see that, so. Yeah, oh, un, un, oh, unboxing, got the knife and everything. So these are by a brand. This is gonna be chill, guys. Um, I'm really not gonna do any lighting or anything. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video. Kind of like a Just Talk Tuesday. And more tune for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name, you know? But if you don't know what Thursday Boots is, it is a company who makes high-end, or supposedly I haven't felt a pair yet, high-end boots at a really fair price point. Um, I think the most expensive boot they have on their site is about $270. And if you know anything about boots, that is a mid-tier and or low-end boot price. A really high-quality boot um, usually runs you about $450 to $500. And we're going to see if Thursday lives up to the hype all right so straight out the box this is what you're gonna see you're going to see thursday boots nice and embossed in kind of a bronzy a bronzy kind of vibe on foiling the packaging here is so far so good um i wish it was a, i wish it was a pull-up lid personally something that lifted up instead of out but little things not gonna complain. There is the packaging with it. There you go. I got a size eight, as you can see. I'm usually a eight and a half or a nine, but people said these ran big. So yeah, let's get right into it. So straight out the box, what you are going to get is a Thursday card. Now this is a really cool kind of card. And on the back, it's even hand signed. Now that is attention to detail. You can see this is written in ink and you can tell it's real ink. You can smell it, first of all. You can tell it was handwritten. Thursday, boot, Thursday products are handcrafted in small batches using only the highest quality materials. Natural color and texture variation will occur. This is what makes the materials we used, the products and the products we designed both distinct and beautiful. So that will stay with the boots and we will hop right in. This is what the interior of the box looked like. Nothing special, some black paper. I wish it said like Thursday boot, but they gotta cut costs so they can give you that. I think these were $199. And then you have the boots nicely wrapped in here. It does not come with a shoe bag, which is kind of a bummer, but that is also something I can get over. And I can probably just reuse these plastic things. And this right here, my, oh. Oh, you can smell it. Is that, you ever just get a new pair of shoes and smell it? it? Smells so good. Real leather, real suede smells delicious. These are inky black. These are gorgeous. This is definitely a fashion forward boot. Definitely something that is very avant-garde. Um, similar to the Chelsea boot, but different at the same time. We'll try to get some detailing there. We have a buckle here. This style of boot is what's known as the Jopper boot, and that means it does have a kind of a foldable interior with a strap that holds your foot in place. So definitely a little more trendy, a little more Western, a little more rock star than the Chelsea boot. Also, this one has a higher heel, which when you're 5'5", five five doesn't hurt. And also, ooh, you have a leather outsole with grippers there and Thursday boots in box. Now just looking at them, I think these are going to fit nicely. Um, I'm really impressed with the shape of these mainly. These are very reminiscent of SLP, Saint Laurent Perry, um, and honestly, look-wise, a good alternative. Um, I just decided to do a little unboxing, so I'm kind of going off the dome here. Uh, but quality feels nice. Suede is buttery. They almost have a little tarnishing to them. Not a bad tarnishing, but if you look right on the heel, right here, you see how there is a different color there. It's almost like it, it has been a little pre-tarnished, which isn't a bad thing because I think this black boot, this is going to be my beater boot. This is going to be my throw and go boot. Um, this winter because it is waterproof excuse the ISO real quick as it adjusts itself um, and Wow, they smell like real leather you have a complete Leather glove lining you get little things in there that I don't keep because um, I have shoe trees for that get a, get some shoe trees guys um, Shoe trees help keep your shoes smelling better if you get the cedar ones um, and even if you just get the plastic ones it is um, 
you know, worth it. It helps keep the shoe shape, and then you can get little deodorant balls for like four bucks, and you can swap them out. So on the interior here, it's going to be hard to see, but we do have the sizing information, and it does say made in small batches. I see if I can get that. I can't get that. Whatever. Glove leather lining. That feels really nice. So I'm going to throw these on feet, and let's see how they fare on feet. Okay, so, sorry about that. Right off the bat, what I can tell from these is that they are comfortable. I mean, that is what I'm getting is, oh, sorry about that wind. Um, what I'm getting from these is a really, really good comfort level um, right away, and they're not even broken in yet, which is always a either really good thing or a really bad thing. That can definitely go either way, whichever way you want to look at it. I think you could, you know, splice it up. They're going to get less comfortable. They're going to get more comfortable. I'm thinking they'll get more comfortable with the glove leather lining. We'll see how that cork midsole kind of boils down. Why am I out of breath from that? Ugh. Ugh. It's fall out here. I'm really excited to wear these boots, guys. I will say a couple cons right off, the get, right off the bat, the gate, right out the gate, right off the bat, is they're challenging to get on. They do take a little more time to get on versus the Chelsea where you can just kind of throw and go. Um, these definitely take a little more time to get on, but personally, I don't think that's really a big deal. Um, and another thing is my heel is slipping a little bit, and these are a size 8. So definitely go down a full size from your normal shoe size if you are planning on copying a pair of Thursday Jopper boots. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm really happy with my purchase. They're kind of avant-garde for my style, but I'm trying to push my boundaries. They look clean with, you know, a pair of dress pants. But they can also work with jeans like you guys saw. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, all that. Thanks for enjoying this casual video. Peace.